Sir RV TV, welcome. Our journey is continuing through the Rockies. This is Highway 50 West. These are the Colorado Rockies. And what a view! Goodness gravy! I did Google. I got enough phone uh, cell service. Got on Google. That's the Arkansas River. There's another little camp area. Where that last one was a day use, I don't know. Maybe you can see what the sign says here. Yep, I see some tent campers in there. Looks like you can camp at that one. Well, I bet the fishing is good through here too. But look at it. Just picture perfect. Enjoy the view. Salida, Colorado, and then from there we're going to head south. Nice road. Very well maintained. Very well done. Boy, I bet the snow piles up in here, though. <laughs> Remember those gates back there when we started into the mountains? They just close it. It's hard to keep up. Get them winter storms going. I bet it piles up by the feet. Probably when it melts, too. I bet that river gets uh, raging there, too. Well, the winds are picking up a little. I want to look for another place. I want to fly the drone one more time before we get out of here. Out of the mountains. Get one more shot of them. That last footage was perfect. My goodness, wasn't that clear? Okay, here's another little. That looked like day use there. There's several of them. They're all run by uh, Colorado. There is a fee. It's only like four bucks. I paid it. That way I can stop. Not too much traffic following me in my direction going west. Now coming east, I've seen a lot of vehicles. Be nice to catch a train coming through here, but I haven't seen anything yet. That'd make a good video. Bet it really echoes between the hills here, too. Okay, enjoy the views. I'm going to keep the camera rolling. Imagine how old this road is, and uh, oh, it's got to be the millions of travelers gone through here. I mean, this road dates way back, way, way back. But the history here would be something to research a little bit too. I think I see a place I can pull off. Right up here. Yep. I'm going to pull in here and uh, launch a drone. Let's get a good drone shot here. Before we get out of the hills. No 
Okay. Be right back. We go. Look at the bridge. There's a bridge for the railroad. Look at the road. Now, how do they get on that road? It's got to be from one of them day use areas. Huh. See it right there? There's a road. Got to cross the river somewhere. But anyway, look at the cliffs. Rock face mountains. With the blue sky. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. There's the river. Oh, it looks like a... Uh, I bet they fish down there. bet the fishermen line up there. That's the direction we're heading. That's up towards Salida. There's a look back towards the east. There's your Kodak moment. There's your pictures. Screenshot right there. Pretty. All right, the winds are starting to scream here a little bit. So I got to get landed. But what a unique drive. If you get up here, I haven't hit no big grade yet coming up. Leaving that Canyon City, I, I, there's a little bit of a grade, but so far, so good. This would be a perfect RV route for almost any type of RV. Pretty yellow flowers there. All right, time to go. Hit the road. Alrighty, back on 50, we're going to head west towards Salida, Sal I think it's Salida, Colorado. Westbound. That was some really good footage. That sign said Texas Creek. I bet that's how they get on that road. Right here. Look at that. They got a raft rental. There, Texas Creek. I'm starting to get phone reception. My phone's starting to ping. <laughs> yeah, we're getting out of the hills a little bit. Look at it. They're getting smaller. Hey, a farm. Starting to see humans. Wow, pretty. Could you imagine living up here year round? Wow. Yeah, the hills are getting much smaller. We're getting up here a little ways. I don't think we have that much farther to go up to Salida anyway. Imagine all the tourists they get here. Probably year round. I bet they're skiing and everything up here too. Another looks like they use Lake Pine. Looks like we passed several. Finally a gas station. Check it out. Boy, you want to make sure you got a full tank. I'm glad I filled up. Look at there. Food. Look like a little lodge. Hey, RV park. I see trailers. Cool. Look at the color of that rock face there. Isn't that pretty? Well, 
what a drive. This has just been, I don't know, <laughs> one of the memorable ones of the, all this trip this summer. This is the RV There Yet 2019 Travel Series. Still going. Truthfully, I could drive through scenery like this all day long. I know it's going to end. we got to be getting through the mountains pretty quick. We're not that much farther up to that Salida. According to the phone here. What a ride. farms we're out of it <laughs> isn't that amazing back to flatland here there's an RV park there it's a good size cabins everything huh I wonder what the elevation is here we got to be way up even though it's flat. Whoa, dreaded road construction. Looks like I gotta stop and wait. Alright. I'll be back when I get through this stuff. Well, that was over a half hour wait. There's another day use there on the right. I'm in a line of traffic a mile long. Oh well. Down in the description there's all kinds of ways to support the channel. Buy a cup of coffee, click on a link, shop on Amazon. T-shirt, coffee mugs, you name it, it's there. It all helps the channel grow. Well, looks like we're hitting town here. This must be the big town of Salida coming up. Yep, there's the sign. Well, the sign said we're at over 7,000 feet elevation look how flat you don't realize it that you're up that high but we are way up temperatures not too bad here I'm guessing 80 well back to small town USA looks like motels lodges Gas station. Whoa, that guy's moving. Wow. Car dealer. Yuck Donald's. Yuck. All kinds of stuff. Probably one of the bigger towns in this area, I bet. Doors. I'm all stocked up. I really don't need anything. Actually, I got enough fuel. I don't need to fuel here either. That stretch of road was... I don't know. I think we came 50, 60 miles. What a drive, though. Those mountains, huh? Absolutely beautiful. Well... Right up the road here, we're going to park 50. We're going to head south. All right. 
285, yep, here we go. 50 goes off to the right. That would take you back up to Interstate 70. Okay, here we go, 285 South. I believe our next destination is Pagosa Spring, something like that, if I remember right. My memory is not the best. We're going to head south and then we're going to start continue on through the west and we're going to go over the hills again. The journey continues. Stay tuned. Talk soon.